8 Tips for Hiking and Backpacking Safely in Bear Country. Hiking in bear country can be a very enjoyable activity. However, you shouldn't underestimate the risks and dangers associated with it because nothing guarantees total safety. Most bears and wildlife, for that matter, do their best to avoid human interactions. However, every time you go on a hike in bear country, there is the chance for a bear encounter. Statistically speaking, walking the trails of the bear territory isn't more dangerous than walking the streets of a big city or driving to the trailhead. Bear attacks are rare, but they can be extremely dangerous as they can cause injury or death. Bears are naturally afraid of humans, but as the lines between bears and humans become less defined, bears become more audacious in our presence. One, planning your hike in bear country. It's essential to remember that a bear is not hiding in the woods waiting to pounce on unsuspecting hikers. Hiking in bear country is about mitigation and preparation. Before you head into the back country, find out what bear related regulations are in place at your destination. Some parks require bear canisters, others don't. Others have specific storage regulations like bear poles, cables, or lockers. Make sure you know before you go. 2. Don't hike alone, travel in groups. Don't hike alone in bear country. Always be aware of your surroundings when hiking in bear country. First off, no earbuds. When you're hiking, you need all your senses. You're there to enjoy nature. Being a part of a larger party brings some advantages such as making more noise and appearing more threatening to bears. These help keep bears from attacking. Also, in case of an injury, someone can go for help while others can attend to injuries. 3. Stay alert. Watch your step, but also watch ahead and to the sides, especially in areas most likely to be frequented by bears. A startled bear is at its most dangerous. It's best to see a bear before you surprise the animal. Keep your eyes open for fresh tracks, scat, or feeding sites. Such areas include berry patches, places with dense vegetation, salmon spawning areas, and along streams. Bear signs, traces of bear activity, fresh tracks, and scats are obvious signs that the area is frequented by bears. Look carefully at suspicious animal-like objects and try to detect bears when they are distant. 4. Stay on the trail. Avoid side trips in bear country. Staying on the trail during the middle of the day minimizes the risk of encountering a bear, especially when the trail is heavily used. It's probably because bears expect to find hikers on trails. Hence, you are much more likely to find bear off trails or along rarely used trails during the middle of the day. Watch how the trail progresses and think about headwinds, running water, trail bends, or dense vegetation. A hiking trail is the easiest way to navigate thick vegetation, and bears will use hiking trails too. Exercise caution when your chances of startling a bear increase. 5. How to discourage bears in camp. Bears that have tasted human food tend to crave it and may learn to come back for more becoming a problem, unfortunately, these bears are usually killed. So for the bear's welfare and your own safety, keep your food safely protected. 
you should never leave your packs or bags unattended for even a few minutes. If a bear receives human food even once, it will often become more aggressive towards people and attempt to loot other packs for food. Bears are intelligent and learn new food sources fast. Never litter and always utilize bear-proof trash cans when disposing of food. Six, animals should remain on leash. If you like to hike with your dog, it should always remain on a leash. It is the law in parks that allow animals to enter. It's about safety. A running or barking dog can trigger a predatory or defensive response from a bear or other predator. Proper bear safety requires a pet to stay on a leash. 7. Don't try to outrun a bear or escape by climbing a tree. Bears are bigger, stronger, and faster than you are. Don't underestimate the bear's speed as it can sprint at up to 55 kilometers per hour. You have a zero chance of outrunning a bear. 't bears, especially black bears, are also very good at climbing trees. Unfortunately, some grizzly bears are also good at climbing trees. Eight, watch for signs of bear. If a bear spots you, it may stand up on two legs. This is not aggressive behavior. The animal is likely using the higher stance to gain information, do not panic. It is never good to run away or move quickly away from a bear. If a bear sticks out its lips, huff, barks, clacks its teeth, or slaps the ground, it is a warning sign that you are too close for the bear's comfort. Listen to the bear and back away slowly. Do not run, play dead, shout, or make sudden movements. You do not want to challenge the bear or trigger a predatory response. Continue to face the bear and back away slowly. It is important that you stay calm. Most bears do not want to charge you, but react because they are defensive. Conclusion Needless to say, hiking in bear territory can be a bit awkward initially, but with time and experience, you'll just get over it. The more you know about bears, their habitat and habits, as well as your experience will help you avoid an accidental encounter. So what will you do if you encounter bear in bear country? Please share your experiences in the comments. If you enjoyed today's content and find it helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, click notification bell button so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.